I'm Gina Alberti, and here's what's happening this week in Menor. The Ohio Department of Transportation will begin micro-milling a portion of Menor Avenue from Old Johnny Cake to the Walmart intersection. Micro-milling improves the skid resistance of pavement and results in the potential for fewer rear-end collisions. Work will occur overnight from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Traffic will be maintained with single-lane closures. This project is being entirely funded through ODOT safety funding. In case you haven't heard, the City of Mentor has teamed up with neighboring communities as well as several Lake County agencies to identify and plan a regional network of recreational trailways. The Central Lake County Blue Way and Green Way Plan will connect existing bikeways, pathways, and water trails throughout the area. We encourage area residents to join us for the initial public meeting, which will be held Wednesday, November 12th, at the Menor Senior Center from 6.30 to 8 p.m. to share their input on the proposed plan. One of the areas of focus will be on incorporating beautiful lakefront locations, such as Headlands Beach State Park, Menor's Lakefront Preserve, and other scenic destinations in neighboring communities. Please be sure to join us. One of Mentor's most unusual landmarks is about to become history. Menor Lagoon's infamous Bridge to Nowhere is currently being demolished. There were once plans for a luxury resort at the lagoons. These plans were abandoned after the stock market crash of 1929, and the bridge, which was in mid-construction and not yet connected to the shoreline, was abandoned as well. Over the years, the concrete structure has deteriorated, making it unsafe for boats passing underneath. The demolition is expected to be completed in December. The Menor Senior Center's annual Arts and Crafts Sale is on Saturday, November 15th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The sale features over 70 vendors with beautiful handmade items as well as baked goods. The Menor Senior Center is located at 8484 Munson Road and admission to the sale is free. And finally, Veterans Day is celebrated on November 11th, and we salute all veterans who have bravely served our country. The holiday was first established as Armistice Day to mark the end of World War I. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill changing Armistice Day to Veterans Day to honor all U.S. veterans. This week, we encourage all residents to remember and thank our veterans as well as those who are actively serving in the armed forces. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on another edition of This Week in Mentor.